Uh oh, seems that Take Two wants more of your money. What up, everyone? Well, welcome to another episode of Red Ace Talks, the show that we talk about everything and anything. Right before we get to the topic, I just remind you if you do like the episode, please subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, the little bell icon. That way, you're notified about future Red Ace production videos, such as music videos, chunk reviews, and of course, you guessed right, more episodes of Red Ace Talks. Anyways, let's get to it. We were talking about Grand Theft Auto 6. You know, it, it, the trailer is rumored to be somewhere around next month, I believe in the middle of December. And for this, for, you know, for this sake, they better hope that trailer is mind blowing, because usually we all know that Grand Theft Auto trailers they just like to show the scenery, uh, some little graphics here and there, and it had the logo Grand Theft Auto. They did it with Part Four, they did it with Part Five. So hopefully they won't do that for Part Six. But we're not going to be talking about the trailers, though. We're talking about the fact that Take Two, uh, you know, wants to overcharge for this game. Rumor price, I am not joking. GTA 6, $150 price tag could soon become a reality as $70 seems very low for the publisher. $150 for standard, by the way. This is not like a big bundle. So before you go, oh, we got games for $150. Yeah, big bundle that includes a figure or a poster or a lot of DLCs and stuff like that. $150 standard. Uh, let's take a let's let's read. This is coming from Sportskedia. GTA 6's possible pricing is the latest uh, conversational topic on the internet, as it looks like the uh, $150 tag isn't as unrealistic anymore, according to Strauss Zelnick, the CEO of Rockstar's parent company, Take Two Interactive. Video games should be priced based on per hour value. And the current frontline prices are considered very low for hours of entertainment. Uh, he stated, in terms of our pricing for any entertainment property, basically the algorithm is the value of the expected entertainment usage, which is to say the per hour value times the number of expected hours plus the terminal value that's perceived by the customer in ownership if the title is owned rather than rented or subscribed to, and you'll see that that bears out in every kind of entertainment vehicle. By that standard, our frontline prices are still very, very low because we offer many hours of engagement. <sighs> well, can I just say, well, we were past the time where we could actually curse, right? Yeah, fuck you, okay? Fuck you, fuck you, okay? Big fuck you on that one, if you ask me. Fuck you to, uh, what was his name? Uh, oh, Strauss. Stra hey, didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't uh, Red Dead Redemption uh, 2, uh, Leopold Strauss, wasn't he a scumbag too? Well, this guy's a scumbag as well. $150 for a standard or pay per hour because everybody is talking about the pay per hour thing. That's ridiculous. That means you want the game to be an online server only. And not cater to those people who want to play single player and pay per hour? <laughs> uh, listen, how much if, if they if this is implemented, if it is for the pay per hour, how far can they go to get away with it before everybody else starts complaining? Cause I've seen people complain about online, you know. The, uh, the whole microtransactions and stuff like that. Nothing's being done because Fortnite's still around. Call of Duty's still pulling that bullshit. Uh, you know, uh, it's the 2K games, you know, with basketball, with NBA and all that. Where does it end? When does it end? Where and when? How about that? When? Because you still got people who are like, oh, well, you know, I'm still going to pay. I'm going to pay for it. Oh, because I want to have fun. Listen, you, you do what you want with your hard-earned money, but this is, when's enough going to be enough? Now to talk about a $150 price tag for a standard game or pay per hour? I got a funny feeling that it might be both. 
nightmare scenario. $150 for the standard game. That way, for those single players, well, you know, because they're like, oh, we got single player compatibility. You know, you know, it's not just online. Okay. So you're paying $150 for the game. And I bet you they're going to do the pay per hour for the GTA Online. I, I, I much want to bet. I got a funny feeling. This is going to be a catastrophe because you know one game does it and other companies see it and, and people are, I, I, no offense, like I said, you do what you want with your money, but it's idiotic. This thing is idiotic if you go with this whole situation. If they see a lot of people who make this idiotic decision, they're going to implement it with their games. And, what you know, the, the days of $70 games and, like, you know, paying, you know, per month uh, on a, you know, on, on a Sony subscription or xbox microsoft subscription whatever they can go out the window because we could they could talk about you know games charging per game like you know like the online playability charging per game that, that's what this whole thing opens up to and it's up to you to say enough is enough that is if this thing happens i'm hoping that this guy is you know talking out of his ass he got drunk and he said you know i want to get some more money and then when he, after he did the interview, they were like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're going to make it worse. <laughs> I'm hoping it's that scenario. But if this is the new thing, we got to say stop. Enough. Enough is enough. I don't know. I'm hoping. Like, I'll keep my eye on it, you know. If I see the $150 price tag, then I'm, that's going to be something. That's going to be something. Like, holy shit. But, hey. Let me know down in the comments. Would you pay $150 for a standard Grand Theft Auto 6 you know, copy? Would you mind paying per hour uh, for the Grand Theft Auto Online? Let me know. If you are against it, also let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. You guys are actually the ones that should be speaking up more. Anyways, I gotta get going. The past, the present, and the future. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Keep it real, guys. Stay safe. See you later.